Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I, I know. It's me, Dave Swallow Jr. from Porcupine, South Dakota. Whoa, we tell you how many, you know, walks with pride. I just want to talk about, you know, uh, uh, this recording here, you know, about the ceremonies that we have done, you know, how the healing begins, and many of you got good healings from the ceremonies, you know. Whether it's a body, mind, or spirit, you got the healings, you know. And you still, some of you are still need a healing and search of a healing like that, see. And the medicine that come from the ceremonies, you know, these are the ones that we need, you know. So when you come to the ceremony and when you get the healing, you know, there is certain protocol that you have to follow through the ceremonies, you know. You want a healing ceremony and you got to do what the Spirit says. This is, the, this is the only way you're going to get your understanding, your knowledge, and your healing. See, that's what you're going to do. This is how it works. So when you come to a ceremony, you only give a tobacco offering or your chanupa and your gifts, whether it's food, a monetary gift, whatever, to the medicine man and his half side. And then he will distribute to the people how it fit. The singers, the helpers, fire keepers, he will do that, you know, like that. So that's how the uh, protocol is. Then he will ask you, oh, what are you supposed to make? Not what you think. You know, every medicine man, they have their own colors of altar. So they're not all the same. Some of them have the, have the uh, uh, Wakia altar. Some of them have the deer altar. For example, I ran the eagle, spotted tailed eagle and the red tailed hawk. That's what I use. See? So the colors are how I have mine, you know. So each one of them have a different colors and you know, but we all have one chanupa and that's how it, it is, you know. Also, you have to follow this. Then when you make the ceremony and your prayers are answered, then you will have to do your Wopila ceremony, in a Thanksgiving ceremony, you give thanks to the spirits, you give thanks to the earth, you know, for your prayers being answered, see. And then you go on with your life, you know. If you don't need to come back to the medicine man, you don't. You have to live your life, see, go on. That is how this runs. So it's not running like a church where we have members and you must not go here and you must know. Uh -uh. You want a healing? You want your prayers to be answered? And if it's answered, then you make use out of it and go start your life and live a good life. And when you live the good life, we call that the red road. <laughs> Walking on the red road. See, that's what we call that. So you got to go on, you know, like that. See? So no coming back. You could come back if you have another prayer to make. But I'm pretty sure you don't have bad luck every day, you know. <laughs> Some good things happen to you too, you know, like that. So, you know. But today, uh, uh, that, those are the things, you know. And to uh, go to a sun dance, you make commitment. A commitment. When you go to the sun dance, you make commitment, you know. You make a commitment to dance. A long time ago, everything is four days. Four, one, two, three, four days, everything. But today, we are not strong and we are weak in spirit and body and mind. So we dance whatever we can, you know, but still complete the day, see. There is a commitment, you come back. Come back to the sun dance. You are the sponsor, you're the come. Uh, commitment to the sponsor, to the Sundance to keep on going. So you are the sponsor. You're the one that make a commitment. You know, medicine man don't have to dance. He just stand there and make sure you do it right, so your prayers or your healing will be answered. And he knows how to call the spirits. He knows what to do. See, that's why the medicine man is there, like that. So you offer him tobacco and the gifts again before you start the Sundance. You know, and this time you have to. There are some Sundance helpers, Sundance leaders, and those those helpers and leaders they don't have a commitment. 
but the medicine man asked them to come and help them. So they honor the medicine man. That is why they're there. So they work under the uh, uh, medicine man's direction, you know. So they're not out there themselves, you know, like that. See? So they're going to be out there, help the ceremony go, and help the medicine man run the ceremony. See? Most of the, uh, in my days, you know, uh, medicine man is at that age, sometimes he cannot move everything. But these young helpers and the leaders, they went out and they helped him. So again, there you have to uh, uh, bring some gifts for the uh, leaders and the helpers like that to show your appreciation because they're going to be out there too in the hot sun and helping you doing this, piercing, getting your rope, and taking it into, I mean, a lot of these things. So make sure they're going to make sure that uh, your prayers are answered also too. <laughs> like that. So Metis, uh, uh, Sundance is one of the first ceremony was given to us too. You know. So a long time ago when somebody uh, committed to a Sundance, uh, there was only one person Sundancing. See? So if you think you could commit and keep your commitment to yourself and the Creator and the Earth and everything that is, then go make a commitment. You know, like that. See? And the singers, they sing the songs, the sacred songs, you know, like that. So we, we really want the sing, uh, singers to get tired out. So however the singers are, we feed the singers, we treat, you know, make them comfortable so they could sing all day, all four days and even more. See, <laughs> like that. That's how we do that here today. So this Sundance is a, a sacred ceremony, you know. It's not a power. You don't have head man dancers. You don't have women lead, leading dancers. You don't have those. You don't have grandmother sun dancers. You don't. Grandpa sun dance. No, you don't. You don't have sun dance princess. You don't have those. This is a ceremony. It is a sacred ceremony. You want to have those? Go to the powwow. Powwow is the one. They have those. Not the sun dance, sacred sun dance. You don't do that. You know? And you don't charge people for the Sundance ceremony. But people will think what it's worth to them. See? A terminal ill cancer patient come, wants to be here. How much does it take to run the radiation on them? The chemotherapy and the hospital. See? Then come to the ceremony. The difference between the ceremony and all those treatments is those treatments are deadly with side effects. <laughs> and the, uh, the ceremonies don't have side effects. And the spirit medicine. <laughs> See? So these things have to run. You know, it, it's got protocols and everything. And nobody is a captain of this, uh, or the boss of these ceremonies. Nobody. You know? Only Tunkashila is the captain, you know, and he's the head of the ceremonies, see, he's the one, and I'm only a tool that he used, see, to speak for him, because spirits speak a different kind of language, not the Lakota language, no, a different language, <laughs> that's where I interpret <laughs> for them, I'm the Lakota. Now I interpret English language into Lakota and Lakota language into spiritual language. See? So I mostly use as an interpreter all the time. You know, what they do, so I, what they say, I translate back like that. I translate like that. So mostly I'm a translator, you know. But this is how it runs, you know. But today, many of these young spiritual leaders, I don't know, they went overboard. They went too overboard. You know, they want to keep it like a church. Ah, uh, you stay here, you go over there, you're going to die. Bad things are going to happen. No, there's only one Chanupa and one Creator, and we're all under there. When somebody says that, there is something wrong like that. See? And Tonkashila, the spirits, they have chosen me 
not because I'm a perfect man, because maybe I spoke the truth. <laughs> That's why. See, and I have my downfalls and up and downs too. When I was in the 1960 era, you know, all that too. But they have a vision, and when they said it, and when they chose you, there's no turning back to help the people like that. See? So when you go through the protocols of the vision, whatever the vision up there they gave you, then that's what you have to live by and walk by. And you cannot announce yourself and make flyers and use artificial lights in a dark spot and shaking gourds in a dark area room and fooling people, you can't do those. You cannot. You're fooling them. And plus, somebody up there is watching you, <laughs> watching you down. And one day, uh-huh, you're doing this without my permission, so now you're going to have to pay for this. <laughs> That's what they're going to say. <laughs> up there, not me, from up there, like that. Oh, so I want you to know this, you know. You think you're feeling bad someplace? I move away from there. Go where they f treat you right and do things right, like that. See? You do that. And if you go to Sundance and you don't like the person that runs, but remember there's a Chanupa right there. A sacred Chanupa is right there. And you must have respect for the sacred Chanupa and all the dancers, your relatives that are dancing. So it's best to keep quiet and join them in praise. <laughs> See, don't say nothing, you know. Because all these sun dances are sacred. All ceremonies are sacred, you know. Under the direction and the guidance of the spirit, they're all sacred. Whether it's a spotted eagle, whether it's a thunder beans, whether it's a buffalo, the wolf, coyote, the deer, the elk, whatever it is. These are sacred four-legged that once roamed the earth and still roam the earth, but they roam the earth as a four-legged now. See, the Lakota way of life is way different from the white man way of thinking and life. The way, the life that's been given to us, we call it the original instructions. The snake, the four-legged, the winged, they know their instructions today. And why? People like me sit here and talk like this because the two-legged of my relatives and their relatives and so on and so forth forgot their instructions. That is why. See? That is why I'm here. Also, I'm reminding you of that. And if you really want to focus and find out for yourself, you're confused, go up on the hill. Talk to them. Or listen to them what they're going to say because they already know what you're thinking. See? If you're afraid, you must be afraid of something that's not of this red road. See? You're afraid because you did and committed, disobeyed, something, you know. It's just like you're afraid to go back inside your house because you lied to mom. You lied to mother. You said you finished your homework, but you didn't. It was under the mattress, you know. You lie. <laughs> so you're afraid to, you know. So it must be something like that with uh, you know, here the sun and everything around like that. Okay. Then when you go up, nobody go up brave. We're human beings. We got feelings, so we're going to be nervous too. It's like that. See? Okay. So there's many ways when you go up on a hill, you go up for healing. You focus on yourself. Something that no man cannot teach you that the receivings you're going to get up on that sacred mountain. On those mountains like that, we call it the grandmother's breast. And that's where life began. See? Life began. Nourishment began from there. See? So we stand up there. We humble ourselves towards the spirits. Today it's dangerous to humble yourself towards a human being. You might get beat up or get killed or robbed or mugged, you know? Because today, everybody's mind is a disease grow up here, you know. So they have a wrong thinking about you when you go there. He's got a lot of money. Or sometimes just for the heck of it, they're going to abuse you and assault you, you know. 
But earlier I spoke about the Antichrist that's walking on this earth. <laughs> that's them. That's here. <laughs> the battle has started between good and evil, alcohol, drugs, and the spiritual ways. When I say spiritual ways, I mean the four colors. Each one has a spiritual ways. That's what I'm talking about. Four race, the white, black, red, yellow. We have a spiritual ways that needs to be followed. So we could be healed from this aggression of alcohol and drugs and abuse of the sacred items and sacred places, which means drilling the earth, mining the earth, sacred places, sacred items, abusing yourself, abusing the children, and abusing the women among the sacred items. Oh, this, you know, oh, hey. So you got to get back to the spiritual ways and stand there as a spiritual warrior to protect these things. Today, we cannot see the enemy we're fighting. I mean, I'm talking human race. I'm not talking American. I'm talking human and spir spiritual here. That's what I'm talking here. So if America has its uh, problems and fight with the war, that's not ours. We are here in this earth, Mother Earth, as a spiritual being that who we really are, and that's where our originality is from. And that's what I'm talking here. Because everywhere we have the problem, these problems I spoke about like that. So I want, you know, I want you to know. You got uh, an internet to go find out. You know, it's all there, see, like that. Well, see, see I want to bring this message here, and I want to talk about these things here, the spiritual things of, of the entity that we never know, that entity that's very powerful and high, you know, with the one that who protected us, and the one who taught us, and the one who healed us, see, like that. Kunkashila, we call them. So when you have this in your heart and mind and soul, you have no hatred. You have no enviness. You have no jealous. You have none, none of those. You are in peace within yourself. <laughs> See? I think so. That's how we go. Humans are easy to fool. Especially both ways. You're seeking the bad way or the good way. So you have to be careful and do these things in the rightful way. It means all my relations. The air, the trees, the birds, everything that is. Yellow. Aho. <laughs>